Hi, it's John Badham, Trailers from Hell. Let's look at West Side Story. I mean, here's a really great opportunity, not only to hear Leonard Bernstein's score and Stephen Sondheim's great lyrics, but to see what happens when two directors try to direct the same movie. In 1957, Jerry Robbins conceived the idea for West Side Story. It was a retelling of Romeo and Juliet set against the canvas of New York street gangs. Now, the dancing and the choreography was something that had never been seen on Broadway with that kind of intensity. And when it was transferred to film, it was never matched in its skill and brilliance until Bob Fosse did all that jazz almost 20 years later. When it came to making the movie, the studio that was United Artists really didn't have faith in Jerome Robbins to direct the movie. He'd never directed a film before. So a compromise was struck and they decided to bring Robert Wise in to co-direct. Well, I guess the plan was that Wise would do the dialogue scenes and Robbins would do the musical numbers and the dances with the help of Wise overseeing him. Well, this was a plan that was messed up from the get-go. I mean, the BP disaster blowout plan was better conceived than this plan. From the very first day, Robbins and Wise were at each other's throats. They fought over every shot. And Robbins was the perfectionist, trying to protect his own creation, the one that he thought up. And Bob Wise was the old studio pro who was trying to keep the picture on schedule and on budget which it kept threatening to do. And as time went on, they got further and further and further behind, and United Artists and the Mirrors Company were going crazy, trying to shoot this movie for the five and a half million dollars that it was gonna cost. So one day, they got together, and it was decided a fatwa was sent out, and Jerome Robbins had to go. So at this point, he'd shot three or four of the musical numbers, and Wise, shot the rest of the movie, all the dialogue scenes, and several of the musical numbers. Picture Open was a huge hit. It won 10 Academy Awards, which was more than any musical film had ever earned uh, in the history of movies. But when you look at the film today, you can see that the best parts of it aren't the dialogue scenes. They're the dance scenes that Robbins shot. I mean, without ever having directed a foot of film in the past, he understood how to use a camera far better than anybody ever gave him credit for. He didn't just shoot it. He made every shot be an organic part of the whole. I mean, if you want to see a fabulous melding of camera, singing, and dancing, look at the opening scenes on the New York streets. Look at the America number up on the rooftop. Look at the cool number in the garage, and you will see a shooting of musical numbers, the likes of which is almost unmatched to this day. The other numbers that Robbins couldn't shoot were shot almost like from a proscenium angle, as though you had put the camera in front row center and just left it there static. Unfortunately, the love story of West Side Story gets the cheese ball treatment here. And it's just a shame that Tony's character and Maria's character don't have any edge to them. And it all just gets kind of soppy sentimental. And if you're diabetic at all, don't watch this movie. I mean, there's more sap coming out of this than maple trees in Vermont. I hope you'll forgive me for being tough on this movie because it's still a great movie. <laughs>